Today we are in the beautiful country of Saudi Arabia and we're going to be trying out some local food. Currently I'm in Riyadh and there's a few burger spots that I want to hit up that uh, people have been raving about. So we're going to give that a shot. But pretty nervous to be wearing this so I'm probably going to change because I know for a fact I'm going to get this dirty and I just got it. So <laughs> let's get to it. All right, first up, we got Burger Hunch. The best part about this place is they cook it over a wood flame, and then on top of that, they actually press the burger into the grill once it's done. So, let's give it a shot. It's a little bit small, but I think it's like the ideal cheeseburger, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's the perfect cheeseburger. It has that smokiness that Burger King gives you when you order the Whopper, but it's actually good. And then on top of that, it's just burger and cheese. Like there's no toppings, no nothing on top of it. It's got an intense smoky flavor, especially when you get the charred part over here, you get a little bit of that char, like a little bit of a burny flavor, but it's not overpowering. It's actually, it's just, it's, <laughs> it's the perfect bite. It also has the texture of a smash burger, like it's got some crisp on the meat. It's perfectly seasoned, just salt and pepper, but whatever that wood is that they're using is, it's perfection. On top of that, you got some fries. They're pretty crispy. You can see that. <laughs> you can't really see it, but pretty, pretty crisp. They got a crunch to them. They smush like that. They're seasoned with a bit of a, I think it's seasoning salt, but it's got a little bit of spice. And then the sauce that they have here is called the smoky sauce. Also, the name of the burger is the smoky burger. For a simple cheeseburger, 10 out of 10, highly recommend here. This has to be one of your stops when you're here. I will likely be coming back 100%. On to the next one. Okay, we are currently at Burger Map, which is one of the more recent spots that have opened in the past year or two, I believe, is what they said. Uh, and right now we're gonna be trying three burgers as well as their loaded bacon fries, which is awesome because typically I don't eat bacon, but they got beef and it's hot ad, so we are good to go. <laughs> First things first is we got the signature burger right here, which I'm still to try. I always like to try the OG like flavor that they got. And then you spice it up a little bit with the brisket burger. And this right here is actually a camel burger. So pretty excited. They're kind of smashed patties, which is, uh, <laughs> my favorite kind of patty. The camel, I love camel personally so far. I've only had it one time and it was fantastic. But this here in a burger, it looks a little bit odd. The color's a little bit off, so let's see. Anyways, without further ado, let's get to the bacon fries and get us all a loaded piece. Oh man, if you see that, it's not just like the melted nacho queso cheese that you get on typical loaded fries. It's actual cheddar, uh, which is nice because it's gonna give it some texture and bite to it. Let's see. Super good. It's got a nice zesty flavor to it, kind of like acidic or sour in a sense. The cheese itself is mixed with like a kind of mayonnaise or dynamite sauce underneath. The bacon, nice and crispy, but not overly crispy where it gets kind of annoying. Super smoky though. Fries are actually very, very good. I think <laughs> if you come to Burger Map, these should be a staple. It's a little bit overly saucy, which I don't prefer. But I know for some others, like that would be probably <laughs> a very good bite. I think if it's more cheese and less sauce, it'd be perfect. But besides that, it's all 9 out of 10 on flavor. Like this is, this is very good. And the crisp of the fries, it's your standard fry. It's kind of reminiscent of a Wendy's fry, but better, if that makes sense. Like it's a little bit thinner, a little bit crispier. Like you can see that right there. Just kind of nice. But yeah, uh, <laughs> loaded fries, loaded bacon fries. It's a, it's a good bite. Okay, we're gonna be starting off with the signature burger because you kind of have to, it's the OG flavor, it's what you want. 
as you can see there, the burger is kind of a smash patty, like it's pretty thin, which I prefer. It's got a nice crisp on it. Also, the bun itself is very like oily or buttery. It's kind of a brioche bun, which I personally prefer. A little bit heavy, but <laughs> that's how I like it. So let's give this a shot. I don't know what's actually on it. It looks like onions, cheese, maybe mushroom or some sort of thing. I don't know. So it was mushroom. It's got some sort of white sauce, which I think is a white cheese sauce. It's not actually mayonnaise. Pretty good. That with the cheddar is great. The mushrooms have a nice texture to them. Like it's got kind of like a snap. It's not your typical mushroom that you would get, just like a cremini. It's kind of meaty, if that makes sense. I don't know what it actually is, but it's got a nice bite to it. Like it snaps when you bite it. Beef itself is a little bit dry, but it's crispy. So it kind of makes up for it with all the sauce. Super good, actually. Um, <laughs> I like this a lot. I won't lie. It's, uh, <laughs> it's pretty good. It's just a nice bite. And the fluffiness of the burger itself the bun sorry it's great now for the camel burger <laughs> this is definitely gonna be interesting as for toppings we got tomato onion cheese lettuce and some sort of sauce and there's the meat itself it's a little bit lighter than the beef oh man the flavor on the camel itself is a little bit lacking like if you didn't tell me that it was something else, I would probably think it was just beef. It's a very subtle flavor. It is slightly different, like with a slight gaminess, but not much that you would notice it. Overall, it is good, but I would not be able to tell the difference. I think, I don't know. Even the bun itself is different, but I do prefer the bun on this one. It's a little bit softer, a little bit fluffier. Overall, it's a solid burger. I probably wouldn't go out of my way. If I wanted to try camel, I wouldn't come here. I'd probably try camel steak or something like that, like something more meaty, if that makes sense. It just doesn't feel like the camel experience that I'm looking for. Like I was a little bit excited for that, but it's a little underwhelming. Pretty good though. <laughs> and right here, we got the brisket burger. I personally love brisket. Anything that's smoked is kind of my favorite kind of food. Not my favorite, but it's what I'm typically leaning towards ordering. I think with this, we just got, oh buddy, it's just a bunch of shredded brisket right there with cheese. And I think that was all that was on it. Yeah, it just looks like brisket cheese with some barbecue sauce. And it's pretty hefty. They also got some char on that too. So they have pressed it into the grill to give it that crisp, which is very interesting for a brisket burger. All right. Hey, do you like burgers? <laughs> so do I. I've gained like five pounds making this video. So if you liked it, consider hitting that like button and maybe subscribing. Thank you. <laughs> this burger right here is a game changer. I bit it against the grain. Um, I think if I just bit it normally from the front, it probably would have pulled a lot easier. It's got a nice sweet barbecue-ness. Oh, bloody. It's got a nice sweet barbecue sauce integrated into the burger. Like it's not just topped with it, like it's kind of between the meats which is really nice. And with the cheese, it's very simple, very good. It's got a nice bite to it, very sweet. But if brisket's your thing, I'd probably go for this. I think overall, actually, out of all the burgers, this is probably gonna be my go-to. Overall, Burger Map, pretty solid place. I'd say maybe a solid eight out of 10. Pretty good, I would recommend it. Okay, we are currently at Burger Boutique, which completely blew my mind with the aesthetic here. It was not what I expected at all. I thought it was gonna be a fast food joint based off the pictures of the burgers, uh, but showing up here just completely blew it away. I did not know what to expect coming into here, but we got right now their ultimate fries or the dynamite fries is what they call them, which is kind of like a chili cheese fries with a dynamite sauce. And then we got their solar gravity burger, which is their specialty. And then the bee burger, which is an Angus patty with infused bacon barbecue. Uh, ranch sauce, so that sounds very good. So we're gonna start with the fries just so they don't get too cold and Let's give it a go. It's also tops with crispy onions, cheddar cheese, chili con carne Oh boy, and yeah, I don't know what kind of sauce they have on it, but there's also beef bacon too. So let's give this a go This place is in a different league 
from all the chili cheese fries that I've tried, this actually has a real authentic chili on it. Like it doesn't taste like ground beef that you get from like Taco Bell or something like that. It's kind of, it's hearty, it's hefty, it's heavy, and it's got real actual cheddar cheese, like no sauce cheddar, no nothing. And with the bacon, it has that nice smokiness to it, which is, it just completes it. The fries themselves, they're kind of like a McDonald's fries where they're kind of like bendy and whatnot and just kind of thinly shaved, but wow. It's in its own league, completely different. Next up, we got the bee burger. So like I said, Angus patty infused with bacon and beef and barbecue. It's got crispy onions on it as well as their bacon ranch. So it looks pretty good. It's not a smash burger. They actually ask you how you want the burgers done. I asked for medium well because that was a chef's recommendation. So we're gonna give that a go. I don't get too much of the bacon. I lied, there's a lot of bacon in there. <laughs> you get that first with a bite. The meat itself is perfect. Like it's very juicy. It's also very moist. <laughs> Sorry, not moist, tender. Kind of breaks apart. The only hard part to eat was the actual onion shreds that are up here, the onion rings. But the bacon flavor itself is just incredible. With the ranch, it's pretty good. I'm not a big fan of ranch, but infused with bacon and barbecue. You got my two favorite things on a burger. This thing right here is actually it's, it's phenomenal. A little bit messy, but well worth it. One thing to note, this place is a little bit more upscale. So if you are coming here, it's probably gonna be something like a date night sort of thing. Like I wouldn't just be coming here as a fast food sort of like fast food run, like all the other places that I've been going to. They're not fast food, mind you, but they're not like, <laughs> like date night, you know, but here we got the solar gravity burger, which is just, you can see that on my finger. It's already dripping through the patty, through the bun. The beef itself, extremely juicy. You got the onion rings, real cheddar cheese. There's also cheddar infused into that, I believe, and their signature sauce, which I don't recall what it is, but I'll put that up on the screen. But this thing is just a work of her. I'm excited to try this. I'm pretty nervous too, but <laughs> the red bun, never seen this before, okay. I love a greasy burger. This thing, it's got some heat to it. It's actually kind of spicy, which I'm surprised, unless I misread the ingredients. It's, it's perfect. <laughs> this is actually a perfect burger. I almost feel bad comparing this burger to some of the other burgers that I've been to, just because it's a different game. Like from all the other spots that I've been to, I love them. But if you're if you're ever in the area of Burger Boutique, 100%. I thought I was gonna like that one more, but the Solar Gravity is just another level. Like this is this is it's out of this world. I think my only issue with this place was trying to find it. If you're outside, you're gonna be cruising around the block for probably another like half an hour. The sign itself is probably as big as my forearm, so it was almost impossible to find. I almost gave up just because. It's just bad placement of their sign. They need a bigger sign to find this place because if you come to Riyadh and you don't eat this burger, you've missed out. You've missed out a lot. Like the, I don't even want to put it down. Usually I just sample these and then I eat them with my friends and <laughs> like this is this is one for for the money. Like that's it. God damn. This has been my Riyadh Burger review, so uh, if you enjoyed what I do, please consider liking or subscribing to my channel. And thank you for watching, I hope you have a great day, and I hope to see you guys in Riyadh someday. Take care.